everybody, my name is Global Gamer 18 and welcome to the Chronicles of Quiverdick. This one is straight out of the indie scene. This is made by Crankage Games. I'll leave a link to a bundle that you can purchase in the description. And God, it's good to get to play another indie game. I know I've been holding off on Oro Genesis. Don't you worry, it is coming. <laughs> I just there's so much going on and I don't want to like mess anything up but I have the mindset to be able to at least do this right now so let's go so this is an RPG obviously but hey grandpa what creature you think would win in a fight a bugbear or a minotaur I'm gonna say minotaur a bugbear would definitely win stupid well you're a dick I'm not stupid. Yes, you are. Stupid makes stupid pants. Grandpa, I'm not stupid, am I? Well, uh, hmm. That's a really good question, Andrew. See, I told you, you're stupid. Even Grandpa thinks so. Wow. My family hates me. No, no, Emma. That is not... It's not that Andrew's stupid. It's just that... How do I put this without hurting your feelings, Andrew? Yes, yes, Grandpa? You're stupid. <laughs> stupid with stupid pants! Cut. Oh! <laughs> oh, Grandma's mad. What did you just call her, Andrew? Uh, I can't, Grandma. Oh. Well, then, carry on. <laughs> Wait, what was her name? Grandma Testicle? Grandpa, why do you call they call you Old Man Quiver again? Oh, well, that's because I used to be an adventurer until I took an arrow to the... Jesus Christ. Also, let's just... There we go. Is that why your friends call you Quiver Dick, Grandpa? Pfft, what friends? <laughs> Sick burn, Grandma! Yes, we've established that I'm a lonely old man with no friends. Though it wasn't always that way. Did you have friends in your adventuring days, Grandpa? Oh yes, loads of them. I was quite the legend, you know. That's true. Your grandfather was quite the hero in his time. If they made a play about your heroic deeds, who do you think would play your role in theaters, Grandpa? Dick Tracy. Oh, probably some really handsome and heroic like Vin Diesel. Or perhaps even Jason Statham. He's quite good. Maybe a significantly less racist version of Mel Gibson. True. <laughs> True. The possibilities are endless. Can you tell us a story from your glory days, Grandpa? I suppose I could, Andrew. Let's see here. Ah, I've got the perfect tale for you. This is the tale of how I met your grandmother. Ooh, a romantic story. Yay! Buckle your motherfucking seatbelts, kids. It's gonna be a bumpy ride. Well, you can tell that this is a good game so far. It's basically me with all of their motherfucking seatbelts buckled. Old man quiver story begins to unfold. I don't even have to do the swear again, you can just blame it on the game now. <laughs> I wonder what this was made in. I don't think it's RPG maybe. <laughs> but it kind of reminds me of Harvest Moon with the setting. Damn, that sure was an exceptionally bumpy ride. I'm glad I buckled up my motherfucking seatbelt. Beautiful. I wonder where the hell I am. This doesn't look like a town to me. That damn merchant must have sold me faulty directions. I've been traveling for days. That dark pretty fast. <laughs> oh great, now it started storming, just my luck. Come on, boy, let's giddy up. <laughs> no! <laughs> no! You gotta be fucking kidding me! Well, I guess I'll have to do my exploring my foot. I need to get out of this rain. Five experience points have been earned. 
Would you like to save the game? Sure, why not? Holy shit, there's a lot of files. Search through the wagon and grab what little you can carry before setting off on foot. That containing a hundred time gold is found. Two potion bottles. Two bottles of magic water. Alright, that should do it. Five experience points for gay. He's not level two, multi shot alert. Wait, what's this? Can I find anything over here? Probably not. I'm probably overthinking this. There we go. The rain fell so thick that it felt like little ice cubes hitting my spectacular rock-hard, chiseled body. Pfft. What? What was the pfft for? The hardest your body has ever been is about equivalent to a marshmallow roasted on a campfire. Yeah, well, all the important parts of my body are hard. Ooh. Amen! <laughs> Jesus, Grandma. You sure are one smooth player, Grandpa! You're goddamn right I am! <laughs> as nice as it is to see that I'm still awesome in the future, my clothes are fucking soaked and it's cold as a Yeti's balls out <laughs> here. Can we please continue the story so I can get moving? Oh, shut up! At least you know you live in the end. Ah, spoilers! <laughs> what was the experience points for? Hmm, what's in here? Am I gonna get eaten by it? I hope not. Oh, thank god. Money and a potion. Awesome! Five experience points again. Not bad. Honorary grave marker. Rest in peace, Chester Bennington. Oh, that's really sad. Oh. My heart. <laughs> You're killing me. Why you gotta make me catch feels in a game? He really was amazing. He was, wasn't he? I like that. What the fuck is that? I didn't even see him. Stop right there, traveler! Who the fuck are you? I'm Murgle, the Almighty! He's a Viking now. I guard this river with my life. I come from a long line of noble Murgle Burgles, and I have sworn an oath to defend this river from all trespassers. Cool story, bro. I, I I just want to get out of the rain, and it looks like there could be an establishment of some sort behind you. I'd like to pass, please. Many have tried. All have failed. That's cool and all, man. I But really, I, I really just want to get out of the rain. I don't want any trouble. I'm warning you now, traveler. If you attempt to pass this river, you will meet an inevitably terrible fate. Okay, well, I'm, I'm just going to go ahead and pass now. Thank you. Try and you will meet you. Well, this is awkward. Yeah, a little bit. This has never really happened to me before. I'm not exactly sure what to do in this particular situation. I totally didn't expect you to just walk around me. Sorry about that. Yeah, major miscalculation on Merkel's part. Well, I'm I'm gonna go now, I guess. Yeah, yeah, you, uh, you go ahead and do that. Murgle will just stay here and defend the river from trespassers. Best of luck to you, Murgle. Thanks, you too, Traveler. Sweet. Murgle seems like a nice, nice guy. A dragon. After defeating the almighty Murgle in single combat. You already told us what really happened, Richard. If you're going to bullshit your way through a story, you have to start with the bullshit part. Fine. After I bravely defeated Burgle and his entire Murgle Burgle clan in 30 on 1 combat, I happened to come across a boathouse not too far from the south. Ooh, I love boats! Shut up, Emma. Well, Emma, these boats suck. But I'll get to that part of the story soon. I have a feeling I shouldn't be getting on any boats during this journey. You don't have much of a choice. Sure I do. You gave me a pretty clear warning that the boats were suck. Your suck, so I'm, I'm fairly certain I'm not getting on any fucking boats. Yeah, we'll see about that. Grandpa, who are you talking to? Uh, uh, no one, you little shit. Mind your own damn business, you fucking crazy kids. Sorry, Grandpa! 
Today must be my lucky day. 50 gold? What's that golden treasure chest up there? I kind of want it. Big sloppy eggplant. I don't know what the hell this is, but it feels disgusting. Five experience points. Level three, mend wounds. All right, let's 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 see if I can go get that. Uh, I need to focus on getting a better status before I water. I really want that fucking thing, though. Here, what if I just... Oh, yeah! Ah, I bet there's something really great inside of this one. Ah, oh, shit. Not so fast! Well, this chest belongs to Pontius the Magician. I have hidden some golden treasure chests around the land, waiting for an adventurer like you to show up. An adventurer like me? What is it you seek, Magician? The price for opening this chest will cost you one thing and one thing only. Pontius pulls an empty pipe from his robes and shows it to Richard Longstone. I'm out of herbs, so if you got any, I could really use a hint. I don't have any on me, sorry. Well, that's rather disappointing. I figured putting the golden treasure chest around the land would appeal to stoners looking to get their hands on some free shit. Good plan, I suppose. Well, I guess now that I'm here, if you want the chest, I'll ask you a question or something. If you answer correctly, maybe I'll let you have the stuff in it. Alright, I'm listening. Hmm, let me think. I got it! There exists a paladin who served under the Metal Order and helped vanquish a great demon god by the name of Amartheus. What was this? Oh, what was this paladin's name? Was his name Mr. Sniffy Nuts? I'm sorry, but that answer is entirely incorrect. I'll have to just sit. Just lock this golden treasure chest up and wait for the next adventure to pass on by. But wait! Well, fuck, I wonder what was in that thing. Fuck you. God damn it. Got another one. 50 gold. Sweet. Sure, I wouldn't mind if I took uh, one or two. Ten. That's ten, you dumbass. That is not one or two. Uh, I meant one or two handfuls. You received five experience points. Cool. Finally, some shelter. I wonder if they've got some food as well, because I'm fucking famished. Me. Be sure to try the chowder. If I can recall correctly, it's the weekly special. What kind of chowder is it? Clam and potato with those little fancy schmancy green herb thingies they put on top of the gourmet foods to get in big restaurants. Oh, no shit? Sounds like a pretty good place. Ah, it's shit. Why would you want me to try it? Well, you're hungry. It's the only thing they have available to eat on that particular day. Why does it matter if it's the special? A lone guardsman appears to be snoring next to the entrance of the building. No, sir, I was not out all night drinking. I've never even heard of the Ra Ramenstein pub. Oh, Ramenstein. I get it. Haha. -ha. That's good. I like that. Are you alright there, buddy? Of course, sir. Why wouldn't I. Wait. You don't sound like. Ah, uh, sleeping on the job? I never do such a thing! Guardsmanship is much more responsible than that! Okay, buddy. Don't worry, I won't say a word. Thanks, you're a lifesaver, pal. I think I'll just lean against this. Well, shut my eyes for a sec. Yes. Yes. Hell yeah. So far, so good. I like that it's like straight into the point. Um, there's no diddling around, you know? 
which is funny considering his last name is Longstrong. It's so nice to be out of the rain. Don't get too comfortable. What's that supposed to mean? You'll see. Sometimes I really hate myself. Hey, you get used to it. Would you like to save the game? I just did, but sure, yeah, why not? Hello! Welcome to the Boathouse Inn in a homeless shelter. I am Rhiannon. It's a pleasure to meet you. In and homeless shelter? Yep. Not gonna explain that one? Nope. Okay. Fair enough. How much for a room? I'm running a special today. If you order a meal and get a room, it'll cost you 50 gold pieces instead of 75. That's a bit pricey for me at the moment. We have a very extensive menu. Oh yeah, what's on it? Doesn't matter, all we're serving is clam and potato chowder. <laughs> extensive menu. No idea, but we put those little fancy schmancy green herb things on top like at the big expensive restaurants. I feel like I've heard this before. You haven't. I'll take a room and chowder, please. Very well. Here's the key to your rooms. Rooms? Is it multiple? Yep. When you're in a room, you have to buy two at once. Why? Why? I only need one. Company policy. Sorry, I don't make the rules. Well, who's in charge of this place? Me. <laughs> I thought you didn't make the rules. Well, then I enjoyed your room and chowder. Damn. You received an in-room key. Where's my second in-room key? Oh, and what do we think? There's guests already staying in your rooms. You'll need to get rid of them before you can leave sleep. Wow. Are you fucking kidding me? Nope! They've actually been here for weeks, but I can't kick them out. They really make it scary. Fuck my life. Oh, it's not that big of a deal, you big sissy. Is that my room? Nope. Let's go get some wine. I wonder if there's anything good in here. Magic water. Not too shabby. Five experience points. Not bad. So who the fuck is in my room? Oh, these are my two rooms. Turn it ever so slightly. Success! Wow, really? How the fuck did that even happen? Good joke going, jackass. I just turned the key and the fucking entire thing crumbled. How does a key break in a goddamn door? Please, someone explain this to me. Oh, break a gun. Fuck it. Five experience points. I'm learning as I go. You. Who dares disturb my slumber? Your slumber? You're not even in bed. Sometimes I prefer to sleep standing up. You got a problem with that? No, I suppose not. Teach their own, I guess. Ahem. What I meant to say was, you're an ugly bucket of metal. Your mother was a can opener and your father was a pile of rotten to see nuts in bones. <laughs> Mostly nuts. How dare you speak of my parents that way. They were hardworking individuals, I'll have you know. I didn't say that. That wasn't me. Definitely was you. No, it wasn't. Toads was, though. I'm going to smash your skull into a fine paste and use it as lubricant for my rock hard two inches of terror. <laughs> I don't even want to know what the fuck you're referring to. <laughs> oh my god, I'm so tiny. You will pay for your insolence. Fuck my life. I don't know how you end up in these situations, Richard. <laughs> uh, attack. I don't think this is gonna do much. Ames has got a fire swift. Well, I mean, that, that, that didn't do much. Oh no! Uh, magic. Uh, no, that's bad. Uh, special. Multi shot. Fire! Well, it did nothing, basically. Wrecking Ball! Goddamn! 
This is not a good fight. There's more where that came from. <laughs> Let's give him STs, boys. No, oh, that's a lot of damage. Get it? Oh, my armor, the armor. You're dead to it. Mother will not be pleased. Mother? Forget I said that. I'm gonna make it! I don't have to heal. I'm not doing so well. Hey in there, you've got this. If he dies, he dies. Hey! Madabo! No! Violently. Richard is confused. Aims his gun and fires swiftly. Oh no! Defense went up. Forty-five. I have to do better than that. Multi shot. Three. Yeah, take that bitch. I'm gonna tow on you. This guy's one giant gray big game big vegetable castle. I'm gonna tow on you too! You better smoke this clown. Working on it. Good. I missed one. Come on. Three. What giant is. I told you to. Alright, come on. Really? So close, come on! <laughs> Fuck you! Can't do that. Bam! Come on! That hurt. Come on, three shots. 
bitch about it. Five experience points. Would you like to save the game? Yes, I would after that. Save. Jesus Christ. Okay. Well, now, what do we have here? 50 gold! Gotta dispel her. Not a bad find. Five experience points. Next one. With all of my might, I rammed that key into that tight little hole and I let her rip. Was it really necessary to wear such a simple task in that manner? Come on now. Rip. Ooh, you're gonna regret that! I didn't fucking do anything! You broke the door. No, you broke the door with your crazy old man voodoo, you fucking weirdo! I'm sorry, but keys don't break doors like that, seriously! Receive five experience points. I'm gonna want to die in a minute, probably. Have you come for pain or pleasure? Wow, that's the best offer I've had all day. So what will it be, pain or pleasure? Well, well, actually, I've come to get you the fuck out of my room, bitch. What the fuck? That's not what I said. Hmm. I didn't tell you to get the fuck out of my room. That wasn't me. I never said that you did. You can hear. You can't hear him. Hear who? Yeah, hear who? You psycho. So I ask you one last time: Have you come for pleasure or pain? I've come to ask you very politely if you wouldn't mind leaving the room so that I may get some sleep. Apparently, I paid for two rooms for some unknown reason. Oh, you've come to ask me to leave? Well then, pain it is. Well, fuck. I didn't heal, did I? Dominic. Let's we'll see. I did too much. We might be fucked here. Not feel good. But wait, there's more. Happening. There we go. 
two, three. Okay. We need to heal. This says I look at good boys and girls. There's only one way you can help me win this, by liking the video. <laughs> well, this isn't a good sign. It is for me. Uh, crap. Oh, oh. Come on. Come on. Choke on that. Sorry, hon. No gag replay. Ooh, she's a keeper. When I'm done with you, I'm coming for the old man next. Bye. I don't think she meant what you think she meant. That's for me to decide. Not sure I can handle it. There's no shame in giving in and letting her smother you with her boobs, Richard. I don't think that's how this works. That costs extra. Yeah, I don't think uh, my guy has money right now. <laughs> Shit, we're gonna have to fucking go for it. Let's hope we kill her in the next three hit hits. Ooh. Ooh. Ooh, come on. Come on. Close. Oh, no, that's the killer. No, this might kill me. Oh, fuck. <clears throat> 350 health points. We need that. Don't go me at 413. Miss me. Oh no. Come on, take her out. Bam! Come on, come on! There's one more hit! <laughs> I don't wanna die. You got risky here. Suck it! How do you like them apples? Large, deep in my mouth, preferably. I don't know how I feel about that. Hell yeah! Woo! Lightning bottle and convert magic. Big sloppy eggplant! Sweet! She wasn't so bad. The love of never crushed, did you? You received five experience points. Would you like to save the game? Yeah, I would. Oh, 
why is she you killed my really really cheese whiz khalifa me and khalifa's sister is that, that is that what this is leave me be wow she really fucked your face up why are you so bothered that she's dead shouldn't you be happy what can I say? I guess I'm just a sucker for pain. Good song. Agreed. Leave me be. Uh, okay. What do I? What do I do now? Oh, hold on. Let's go over here. Oh, ho, oh, oh. ho! Whoa! This stuff smells strong! Step away from my herbage, man! This looks like the stuff they put on top of the clam and potato chowder! Yeah, Vidium likes to sprinkle that stuff over the top of everything he cooks. It gives it a little kick. Is that legal? It is if you don't get caught. He has a point. Damn. Well, we're gonna wrap it up here. We saw some herbs, we kicked some ass, we almost touched some boobies. Uh, not really. But, thank you guys for watching part one. If you guys want to see a part two of this, please let me know. Because then I can do another one. Like I said, I'll put a link below to Craig's Games uh, info as soon as I... Well, it'll be there when I post it. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!